Back in Skypiea, we saw one of the strongest Logia Del Fruits in the entire series. Anel was not only the first character to merge his hockey with his Del Fruit, but he was also one of the first awakened Logias we have ever seen. Let me explain why. When it comes to Devil Fruit Awakenings, for a long time we did not have any way to accurately describe Awakenings, but thanks to the latest Road to Laugh Tale data books, we now know more about Devil Fruits than ever before. Oda went into great detail about all types of Devil Fruits. We get an explanation of Paramecia Devil Fruits, and the book tells us that with Paramecia Awakenings, you can affect your surroundings, so we've seen this used by Katakuri and Doflamingo on separate occasions. Now when it comes to Zone Awakenings, it's the same for all types of zones. The users are not able to affect their surroundings, instead they get a new transformation. Now this might confuse some of you because it confused me too. In chapter 1045, we see Luffy affect his surroundings and turn the ground into rubber, but this should literally be impossible and this is probably why Kaido was so confused. Luffy's awakening literally makes no sense according to the data book, so we'll have to wait and find out more about Luffy's Dofu. But when it comes to Logias, the data book doesn't reference their awakening, but it does give us a description. Basically anyone who eats this fruit can gain a fluid body that is made of naturally occurring phenomena, like fire, ice, and other things of that nature. So a lot of people were confused about Green Bull's Devil Fruit, Green Bull may have just confirmed a popular theory many fans had in the back of their minds. In 1054, we've seen Green Bull transform into a giant tree, obviously because he is made of wood. As he's casually walking across Wano, he restores the plant life that was destroyed by Kaido's factories, and of course he can suck nutrients out of people, kind of like smoothie except it's a little bit different, and he can grow vines from all sorts of places, and King and Queen are evidence of this, them boys got low diff badly. But yes, they were injured, but still, hands in his pocket, that boy low diff them. Now, now if you look to the pre-time skip, Ace stopped an entire town from snowing, and this was impressive because it was a place that snows frequently in a snowy region. And we've also seen Crocodile talk about training his double fruit to the max potential, and we've seen him changing things into sand and sucking the moisture out of things, and an impulse down he had knowledge about awakened double fruits. So it's safe to assume Crocodile and Ace are both awakened users. Anel is also another example because he was able to make it rain lightning and was sending lightning attacks from across Sky Island. Akiji and Akainu are definitely awakened, and that's why Punk Hazard is the way it is, but Anel is who I want to focus on. If we compare Anel and Green Bull, we can see that they are both able to transform themselves using their element. Anel's transformation is basically the depiction of Raijin the Thunder God, and Green Bull turned into like some sort of wood monster tree thingy. So this brings me to the topic of gods. I think the Logia Awakenings allow their user to become gods of their element. Now looking at everything Anel could do, there's never been another Logia that used their abilities better than him. Until now. We have seen the admirals change the environment around Punk Hazard permanently. We've never seen them transform, but Green Bull has done both things. The awakening of a double fruit usually follows the nature of the fruit itself. Now, when it comes to Paramecias, you get a wider range of control for your abilities, and Crocodile was able to absorb the moisture out of things, which is consistent with the properties of sand. So this could mean that with the Logia double fruit, the user can affect the environment in any way that fits their element. And just like Ace visits the snowy region and he makes it stop snowing, this could be proof that with enough understanding of your Dough fruit, you might be able to change the entire climate around you. Now, Oda has deliberately left out the awakening of Logia Dough Fruits, and Vegapunk has yet to explain how he created a copy of Kizuru's Dough Fruit, but he explains it was through a weird circumstance. However, it also must be noted that he has actually never created a Logia clone. He has created Zone Dough Fruits and he has created Paramecia Blood, but he has literally never in his life created an actual Logia clone. The only pacifistas in the Seraphim that have the lasers, they can't turn into light like Kizuru, and I doubt that they have all of Kizuru's abilities. So, to be honest, Logias seem to be the hardest thing to reproduce. Now this next part is going to be a little shaky because I don't speak any Japanese, but multiple different sources explain the kanji behind the Logia Dough Fruits, and to put it simply, it means something like natural system. In Greek, this word actually has some connection to God. Going back to Anel and his character design, he's clearly based on Raijin, and his Amaru state is basically Raijin itself, so in a sense, Logias could be viewed as a form of Mother Nature, or in other words, God themselves. Now this even goes back to what Anel said about lightning, and that it basically makes him God. And being one of the first Logias we ever see, he ironically has the title of Kami, which means God. So maybe Oda is trying to give us some hints. The Logia are described as natural phenomenon, which might explain why it's so difficult for Vegapunk to recreate. Them. With zones, they're basically animals, and with paramecias, the lineage factor contains the DNA from their abilities. Now, looking at chapter 1070, we see Vegapunk explain Devil 
fruits and that they manifested through the desire of people from the distant past. And obviously this might not be the entire history, but looking at the logia of Anel and Greenbow, they are pretty straightforward. I imagine people in the past probably wished for the powers of mother nature and now we have fruits like the logias. So in conclusion, I believe logias manifested because people in the past dreamed of being able to control nature. But what do you guys think? Are logias the gods of their element or is there another explanation for how they came to be? Drop a comment down below and let me know what you think. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.